Welcome back to a Black Girl Reacts, where this week we watched the Challenge All Stars episode 4, and all I have to say is that so much went down, and the sequence of events that unfolded this week, particularly when it came to the elimination work, especially heinous, and we will be getting into all of that and more right now. <laughs> The Daily Challenge. We started this week pretty simple. The challenge was an oldie but a goodie, and I say that because it involved two things, being suspended above water and ropes, and it was also aptly titled On the Ropes. The goal of this challenge was to make it from one platform to the other and back before your opponent, and whoever gets back first gets to cut down one of the ropes of the team that didn't make it back to their platform first. Ultimately, you want to have as many ropes in between these platforms as possible so it's easier for your team to get from point A to point B because it gets a lot harder to make it from point A to point B if you only have one rope, as we saw. Go, Kendall, go! Also, these ropes were unstable as hell, as you would think, right? I personally didn't understand how, I mean, I wasn't doing this challenge, so I'm not gonna sit over here and act like it's easy, but they're playing on the ropes, and it is a women's elimination week, which means the female captain on the losing team went straight into elimination. That was Beth. Beth, I'll see you in the arena. And the winning male on the winning team gets to use the lifesaver. That was Mark. I have the lifesaver. Anissa was on the winning team with Ruthie, which I loved. I really want them to be friends. One thing I didn't understand, though, I guess Anissa was a dancer. Maybe she used to pole dance, and like, I understand it's a rope, not a pole, but girl. Yes, you can use your legs. Get that knee hook. You a dancer, get your knee hook. Where is your leg hook? This is a living thing. Where is your leg hook? Look at where she's at right now. She just poised herself up. This is a leg hang. And hook her knee. Okay, that's how pole dancers leg hang. All you needed to do was hoist yourself up and lock that leg in and scoot on that rope. Big Easy was scooting. Here goes Easy. It's it on the ropes, right? You could have scooted across. Again, I'm not going to say it because I know, like, I don't know if there was a single person who finished and got from platform A to B and back on one rope alone. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I could have done it because I have no idea. It looked hard as hell for everyone involved. Oh, my, my. Oh. So Mark. Ruthie, Anissa, and somebody else I cannot remember right now were the winners of this challenge with Mark being the male captain. So he had the lifesaver. We will get into that in a second. And the losing team was Nehemiah, Beth, Katie, and somebody else who I cannot remember. Now, Nehemiah. It's not a men's elimination week, but this is like the second week in a row you've been the captain on the losing team. I'll be seeing you in the arena. The losing team was the silver team. Nehemiah, Beth, we're the captains. Thankfully, it's not a men's elimination week. However, my dude, I want to know about final. There's a bigger picture. Let's get it together. This cannot happen next week, okay? But the important thing to note here is that while Beth was the female captain on the losing team. We gotta talk about Miss Katie. We know Miss Katie in water and being suspended in the air doesn't necessarily mix well. <laughs> and I think Katie finally had enough after everything that she's experienced. And I understand. I will say for all people who don't wanna try something like this, Katie has the most valid reason. So Katie just jumped into the water. <laughs> completely understand. But rather have her do that than do what Kendall did, which was just not try at all. Also, by the way, Kendall, giving credit where credit is due, you performed so much better than you did in the previous challenge when you were suspended above water. Kendall is like the original Barbie beast. So I don't necessarily know why this one, which one could argue was much harder, I think, <laughs> than the trivia round where it was literally like a straight shoot into the water. On the, on the circle. Can I just go down Next, that no, one? No, no, no. She didn't fall in the water. And I mean, maybe this is just her redeeming herself, saying, oh, they didn't want to fall in the water because she killed it this week. But anyway, Kitty just jumped into the water. And unlike Kendall, when it came time for nominations, Beth being the captain on the losing team had to go straight into elimination. And Katie being a boss did what my man Tech did last week. Let's do a quick in memoriam for Tech. <laughs> 
she decided to vote herself straight into elimination because she said, listen, and I know this is the challenge, but I'm scared as fuck. I'm not jumping in that water. I don't need blood dripping down my face. I like my face, okay? I will prove myself in an elimination instead. So just vote me in. However, let's go back to Mark, Mr. Mark, the man who decided that we should care so much about his shoe size at the beginning of the season. Do we remember that? I have a size 15 shoe and I'm ready to jam it up someone's ass. I don't give a fuck about your shoe size. So Mark was really down to shake things up in the house. It was pretty adamant on using this lifesaver. He really wanted to make all the women sweat, I guess. I don't know. And I guess the appeal of using the lifesaver is that we don't know what happens when you save someone from elimination, right? The assumption in the house is that whoever uses the lifesaver then has to choose somebody else to go in, but we don't know. So Mark is pretty set on using it because he has relationships with Katie, who was nominated in, and I guess Beth, I'm not too sure if he has relationships with Beth, but <clears throat> he talks to all of the girls in the house for the most part. He talks to Anissa, he talks to Gisela, who I fucking love, by the way. Anissa and Gisela, can that, can we have merch? Can I get merch with Anissa and Gisela on it? I would love, love that. So he talks to Anissa, he talks to Gisela, he talks to Kendall, he talks to Arissa, he talks to a few other people, but ultimately he tells all of these girls that he's not gonna throw them in if it comes down to him choosing who goes into an elimination if he uses the lifesaver. So he talks to all of these women and he keeps telling them that he just wants to get a sense of whether or not they want him to use the lifesaver or not. And the consensus is all the women were like, yeah, I'm down for you to use the lifesaver as long as you don't put me in in place of Katie who nominated herself to go in, remember? I'll go in. Some people think, why use the lifesaver? Katie nominated herself in, but I guess because Mark has a relationship with Katie, this is the perfect time for him to do it. What I don't understand about this whole thing is the fact that Mark decided to talk to all of these women and told all of these women that if left up to him, he would not throw them in and then find out he is planning on throwing Kendall into an elimination if it's up to him to choose who should go down. When the house asked Beth who she wanted to go against, for whatever reason, she wanted to go against Arissa. I guess she thought she would be an easy contender for her, which we will get into. But Mark, who also talked to Arissa, said, I like Arissa. I wanna see her prove herself. If it's up to me, I'm not gonna send her down. I'm gonna send Kendall down, right? So it seems like it seems like it seems like Mark's gonna use the lifesaver. Kendall's gonna go into an elimination instead of Katie, right? You could not be more wrong. Let's talk about this elimination. Brace yourself, SpongeBob. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. So we get down there. It's time for elimination. It's Beth versus Katie. Mark has the lifesaver. What's he gonna do, right? Let me tell you what Mr. Mark decided to do, ladies and gentlemen. What you gonna do? Mr. Mark decided to follow through on his word. He used the lifesaver. He saved Katie. And Mr. TJ, Mr. Satis Lavin, he let the house know that it would not be up to Mark to choose who is going to go into elimination to challenge Beth instead of Katie. But instead, they're gonna put it up to a vote for the house. Right then, right there. So now, oh God, we got a vote. by what happened in elimination. So the house had to vote on who was gonna go into an elimination. I thought most of the people were gonna be voting for Kendall and a good number did vote for Kendall. A couple people burned on Anissa. Arissa, her name got thrown in a few times, fine. What I don't understand, Arissa, is why when you see Kendall as being the person that has the second highest amount of votes going towards her in an elimination, why didn't you vote for Kendall to go into an elimination? Why did you choose to vote for Kellyanne instead? I vote for Kellyanne. Can you explain that to me, please? I don't understand, bitch. So that's number one. Number two, the house ultimately, for whatever reason, decides to vote Arissa in. I guess Kendall and Beth have more friends in the house than Arissa. Fine. Arissa gets called into an elimination with Beth. Tonight, you're playing wall ball. 
As you can see, there are four giant walls for each of you. The goal of said elimination was to apparently pull these walls apart, throw some balls over the walls, punch a hole through the wall. Never seen it before. Seemed like a pretty cool elimination. And considering the fact that Beth was itching to go home this week, at least it looked like she was potentially itching to go home this week because of how much she missed her family. I'm really missing my family. It seemed like Arissa could have potentially done well. You know, some might look at her and be like, oh, she's skinny, I don't know if she can pull it off. I think we could have seen her pull it off. Who knows? But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We didn't get to see nobody compete because yes, we have some cowards on the fucking challenge. Whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't get to see the elimination. Ooh. One can say I'm upset. One could argue that I'm hurt, perturbed, if you will. I'm pissed off. Just cuts earlier. Fuck y'all, motherfucker. You're just quitting? Marissa. That's Marissa. Right. Oh my gosh. Let's just talk for a second. You don't quit. You don't fucking quit on the challenge. You might quit a daily challenge because you're too scared and then throw yourself into an elimination, but then you don't quit. I don't even want to say you don't quit. There are certain situations where you need to quit and that's fine. I respect that. But what I don't like is people who don't try. There is a difference between quitting and never trying to begin with. And Arissa did not want to try to begin with. And that hurt me. That pissed me off. Yeah, I'm rooting for everybody black. We know this. However, I'm not rooting for someone who's not even going to fucking try when there are so many people out there, especially people who look like us, who are trying their fucking damnedest to make it to a final, who have tried their fucking damnedest to make it to a final, who have. Shout out Cam, Leroy, Amber B. I just, it makes me upset. It makes me really upset. I don't like that. I was going to say, elimination, what happened? There's nothing to report. There was some foolery that went down. I know this is just a show, but I'm upset. Like, I feel personally offended <laughs> that she didn't try. With that being said, this is the challenge. Yes, I want an all black final, but I don't want people in it who are not even gonna try for the rest of us who really wanna fucking see one, you know? Arissa, whatever you got going on, you got going on, but quitting is one thing, not trying is another. And I don't like that. And I hope we don't see any more of that in the coming weeks of the challenge, okay? Cause I don't know if y'all wanna see me yell and scream like that. Maybe you do, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, that was my review of episode four of the Challenge All Stars. Please let me know what you thought of this foolery in the comments down below. I would really like to know. I, I'm upset, I'm tight. But with that being said, I really appreciate y'all so much for listening to me rant. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video from me because I'm watching the challenge every week, every motherfucking week. So with that being said, I will see you in my next upload. Ah. And it's a beat live, you know, look.